2007, she actually came home with a full camera, like the whole bag and everything, two lenses, everything. Yeah, and I'm crystal clear pictures right here. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, appreciate it, man. Raise a shot. Yeah. No, that definitely took a long time, though. Appreciate it. But, um, but yeah, she just brought it to me, and I was just like, I don't know what i do with it. Because, I, for one, I can't see the picture in the back. So it was like way back then, like where... It's a lot. It's a big difference of what it was SLR wise to now. So, and I just took it with it and went. <laughs> Spreading the name out also. So, how much would you charge? Like, like, what's your rate for like a basic picture? <laughs> <laughs> well, the basic picture, you have to actually come to me, and I'll tell you about it, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Because I can't just sit there and give it out to everybody. Then they say, oh, yeah, it's just, oh, I heard you on the radio show. You were like that. So, yeah, I had to, it, the trick for me is, like, you always got to come to me and then I'll talk to you. I know these drinks cost some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like a magazine. Yeah. Right yeah. And yeah. hey, you know what's crazy, though? Like, that last shot that you just saw with the flowers, like, mm -hmm. I actually just posted on um, Photo Vogue. Yep, this one right here. And I just posted on the like a Vogue website that where they post like just a bunch of stuff for like you know independent photographers in the area, mm -hmm. and I Oops. just submitted it thinking all right I may, it may get up there it may not and it did, so I remember just like looking at it and I just told the model I'm like I I just hit up the model I was like Victoria, I have a question how do you feel about this picture with Vogue next to the logo and it was right there, Damn, it's just yeah. but dream. I mean I'm not gonna hype everybody up and think oh yeah everybody. A shot's in Vogue, but it's like it's on the Vogue photo website, mm -hmm. so it's somewhere. So it's, it's just yeah. So it's enough to know that it's actually out there. That's what's up. That's what's oh, up, yes, man. So I heard you work with numerous artists, man. What artists have you worked with? Um, a lot of people like this person right here. Um, if they go back to the next one, yeah. Um, his name's Devin White. He's a pop singer. I work with him all the time. I worked with him for about three years, and I did a lot of creative stuff for him and just mm -hmm. getting him out there and just showing him the way of how to creatively promote yourself. Mm -hmm. And I just worked with him a lot right now. We're trying to hopefully get his music out even further right now. So I helped him, like, get his songs on iTunes. I had the artwork and everything. So if you bought the album yes. on, of his on iTunes, it came with the digital booklet, and guess who's naming it? It's mine. So yeah, it was just a lot of work. So you saying you can like you using using your like creativity to create the artist brand. So you mean to tell me like if you had a, t a chance to take a picture of Bad Table Man's radio right now, would you you pick the sceneries for the people or you let the artist pick? Um, it's a little bit of both. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I like I always try to hit up people and say, well, what are you trying to go for? If they kind of let it loose, like with tape covers and stuff, right? Like yeah, yeah. I mean, I try to let them. You know, I kind of hear what they got to say for it if you, they're interested, mm -hmm. and then you know, I just kind of bring in my two cents into it. But I always try to make sure, like I always say, make your stuff retail, like. You know what I mean? Because I grew up in the era of CDs and all that. So I remember going to the store and buying CDs, like actual physical CDs with a booklet and all that. So I always think about like that retail design. I want to feel like if I'm working with you and you're a musician and you want to get yourself out there, I want to feel like I can go to Best Buy right now and I can go into the music section and I can see like 20, 30 copies of your work. Ooh. Like, and it looks that, like that's you right there too? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, that, yeah, that's tight right there. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was a uh, lady dame who came up here uh, like a few weeks back. Oh yeah. Yeah, I worked Shots with her. Shout out to lady dame, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, nah, she's definitely cool. Like I worked yeah. with her like a bunch of times. Like we always go back and forth. Like we always set different ideas. So yeah, she's like really cool to work with. Like uh, I want to know, like how did you come up? Like how did you come up with your ideas? Like as far as like the um the the, the like different ideas you have for poses and. Things like that. Did you come up with them out your mind? Did you? Um, a little bit, yeah. A lot of it just depends on what they're wearing. Like, I always want to make sure, like, I don't want to have some model, like, with some really nice fancy dress, like, trying to, you know, pose, like, real crazy. I want to feel like they fit in with what they're doing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want you to feel like you're just doing just whatever pose at that moment. So I always try to pay attention, like, okay, 
what is who's working with you who has the stylist what kind of model are you also because i actually pay attention to the model's portfolios because if i feel like there's a model that can do it it's that's how it works out so i always try to pay attention to what they do and what they bring to the table before i came around and what can they do for me during that moment damn man that's yeah he's on some major moves y'all man hey Hey, Mike, hey, Mike, we about to take a quick commercial break, man. We're going to get right back with Travis House, man. He in the building, man, spitting some good knives on his come up, man, everything like that. We're going to get more down to nitty-gritty with him, though. Bad to it, man. It's Radio. This is up. Yes, indeed. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, like, it's so easy to get a camera. And I think a lot of times, like, a lot of people have hit me up, and they say, oh, you shoot models like that, too? And it's like, oh, yeah, well, I want to get into photography. See if you could do it like that. And they always miss the point of, like, <laughs> The fact of the process that it took me, because I've been working on this for seven years. I consider myself working for seven years. But a lot of times nowadays, I'll see photographers. I'm not going to say any names because I'm not that type of person. But, you know, photographers talk. And there's always, like, this one thing that unfortunately happens that a lot of people get into photography for the wrong reasons. They think, okay, well, I can get a model to do this. And I can get them to do that. And there's no process to that. And I think that that's one of the things that's unfortunate because I've heard models hit me up and tell me that I've had male photographers tell me to do this and I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I always try to keep it carry, carry myself the right way because I know there's a lot of responsibility to that. And I've even had people say, well, why do you shoot models like that? And I say, there are people that want to do stuff like that, but also at the same time, you got to be respectful because the model is helping you out also because it's so hard to establish your name but like that your my like your your name is gone and it can be gone like immediately what uh what kind of camera you shooting with um right now i'm i'm interchanging between a few cameras i got like the canon 50d and i got the canon 7d so i've been getting back into shooting video a little bit more also but yeah so it's just been a lot of just like different things i have like just a bunch of different slrs like full regardless of whatever situation I am prepared for. Like, as far, as far as you shooting, um, like, um, I know you said you're doing the models. Like, are you sticking with just the models or are you, you branching off to, like, uh, like other, like, other, um, kind of topics and stuff? Like? Um, a little bit, yeah. Like, I try to, I don't shoot with just, just models. Like, I still try to shoot with, like, a lot of musicians in the area. I try to get, like, a lot of promotional stuff for them. So, like, let's say, for instance, if they, they're trying to promote, like, an album or something like that, then I'll say, all right, well, I can promote you and shoot just, like, a bunch of different ideas and looks and stuff like that. But I'm still trying to branch a few different things out, but just still kind of keep my style, like, really refined and so forth. And are you looking to get, like, a, a press kit? Um, a little bit, yeah. Um, but I guess a lot of it's just, like, since I already have such a base, like, going on, it's kind of, like, one of those things where it's, like, it's something that I can get, but it's not, like, something I'm, like, in a much needed need to get. See, I, 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 I like, feel the photographer, like, I got one of my buddies, like, is a, a professional photographer, he mm-hmm. deals with all celebrities. A uh, shout out to my man, Timo. Y'all can find him on Instagram, Timo365. I want to uh, link you up with for my man, like, you know what I'm saying, let you holler at him. All right. That's what's up. Yeah, definitely. Because that's, that's how, it, yeah, that's how everybody gets around. Like, you can't just have, you got to let people remember you, you know what I mean? Because, like, if you don't have, if you want to get out there, you have to make people remember you. Because you can just shoot a picture and just be like, all right, that's it. But if you care about your product, because at the end of the day, what I'm do, basically doing is customer service. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm supplying to what I'm doing. And then, but at the same time, if I'm not appreciating and, like, actually taking care of the people I work with, then they're just going to be like, okay, this person shot it. But no, it's people saying, hey, this person shot it. You need to go work with him. You need to go work with him, and so forth and so forth. And that's how we get out there more often. It's so funny, man. I, I, I knew him. I'm gonna speak about an experience that I experienced, you know what I'm saying, with my yeah. band. <laughs> we did a uh, photo shoot at the point in time, man. The dude was like, yeah, I charged this, I charged that. And he did an edit. Yeah. You know what the edit actually looked like? What? Instagram. Oh, I, he just looking down right there. I already know what it is. It looked like Instagram. <laughs> yeah. It, he said an edit. You right. spent that glob like, on that joint. I'm talking about to the point of. Like, this is like, the, this the, is yours. This is your final picture. Wow. But the first snap looks way better than your final edit. It looks yeah. like a uh, 
What's that? What's that? Uh, filter on Instagram, right? Like, I really think he took our pictures to Instagram and edited. Oh, Shout out to my graphic designer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a Photoshop, man. Because I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, like, for real, man. Like, seeing what I see. Yeah. We should have called you. Yeah, but it's like, it's like for real though. Like, yeah, man. Customer service. I really, I really. It's a shame I had to take my. So-called not edit picture, my, right? As my main picture, right? No, I understand that, but honestly, like where I'm at right now, I was honestly kind of in that same position like years ago. Uh-huh. As crazy as it sounds, but you know, I, I and I know, and that's and it's an unfortunate thing that happens to a lot of people. But mm-hmm. I can't say anything too bad because I was there not too long ago. But you, you willing to improve though, man? Some yeah. people just out here. To, Pay their bills. I mean, of course, everybody to pay their bills, but I can tell you actually take time and focus on your craft. Right. Yeah, definitely. And I just, I always try to keep my stuff, like, clean. Like, I always wanted to feel like what you saw on the back of the camera is no different than what you saw, like, on the actual computer. Like, this is your shot. But I just try to refine it just enough to make it feel like, to but give it, like, an action. Yeah, exactly. Do you uh, graphic design yourself? Uh. That was somebody else. I do a little bit. I don't consider myself like gravette, like a serious like graphic graphic designer, but I do it just enough to be able to make like album artwork, like the whole package, not just like the front cover. But I always try to make like the full package, like for the guy Devin White. Shout out to him. I always like all the album artwork I did for him. Like I made like a whole package around it. So if you bought the album or if you had like the physical CD, like you could see like the layout of it. And that was all me. I took the pictures of it. I kid him up for all the different ideas. So I didn't have to contact anybody else, though. So I wanted to make it feel like I am my all-in-one, like, compassion right there. Now, then with the, um, with the, I know you said you're you working on some filming now. So what are you planning on filming? You doing, like, movies? Are you doing, like, just little promo commercials? Or what you doing? Um, just, like, a lot of promo stuff for, like, a lot of musicians in the area. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes it's just, like, for my own personal stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, like, I used to do, like, many documentaries, or at least I used to think of them as that. But, um, but yeah, I'm just kind of scaling down a little bit. I may get back into music videos a little more consecutively, but right now it's just like, you know, I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So I want to make sure that my... Stuff is right before I go in because I don't want to go up and hit somebody up and say, "Yeah, I shoot videos and all that," right. and then it looks like it's just a straight same shot, Ooh. like there's nothing else to it. You got any uh, websites or anything like that that you want? Yes. Or you got a blog site you're working on? Yes, I'm pretty much on everywhere, like social media wise at Travis House, T R A V I S H O U Z E, and that's House with a Z. Like I always have to let people know that. So yeah. Um, I'm on Instagram, as always, www.travishouse.com, right there, as you see, and always looking to work with new people. Now I'm about to give you the nitty-gritty <laughs> question, my friend. Oh, man. Yeah, they told me this was going to happen. <laughs> as a man, yeah. being a photographer, I know you attract a lot of females' attention. Mm-hmm. Have a woman ever said, well... I ain't got enough dough that I can let you hit the hole. (laughs) (laughs) That hasn't happened. Well, at least not at that moment. <laughs> but, but what has happened? Okay, has happened? all right, so. Yeah. <laughs> Bad table I'm, manners. I'm looking at my phone right now. I need to see if she even got no girlfriend. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. I mean, for, for, I mean, I got somebody that I'm, like, talking to, and she's interested, but, you know, she's not, like, a model. And she doesn't model, but uh-huh. she's interested in it. But she knows about some of the stuff that has occurred. But, mm-hmm. but um, it's happened before, like, where I had a model who is in the area and she hit me up one day and she was like you know I want to I want to see about us shooting in the studio and I was like alright well what did you want to do and she was like well I had this one idea and I want to know what it's like to you know get in in that moment and I'm just like this is no that's not happening because this is my business I'm spending money on the studio that's not about to happen right and it just it wasn't gonna work out but yeah now that it's, it's happened before though and I know I actually know other people that have gone through that same situation though that's the way they pay their dues man yeah. you know you need an extra camera man <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you, 
But I'll tell you that much, though. Though, that's not going to pay that bill for that camera. It is not going to pay it. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, man. Hey, man. Hey, you funny as hell right there, though, man. We're going to take a quick commercial break, y'all. Back to man is ready, yo, man. Hey, just a quick reminder, quick reminder, Goldie, man, where we at next Saturday, man, next Saturday. Let them know where you're going to be at Saturday. Oh, yeah, man. next Saturday, uh, Bad Table Man's is moving from Fridays till Saturdays. Now we're on Saturday, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. every Saturday, Bad Table Man's. We're still going to turn Same up. show. Ain't nothing changed, man. We'll be right back, y'all. Mike Finn is the best engineer, man. What you got spent over Mike, there, man? Mike, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. We about to pull up. <laughs> Who you pulling up with, real homie? Clever, what's up, man? You see crazy shit. Hell yeah, man. Hey, I know, that, I know my mentor is going to kill me, but shout out to Jason McQueen. He's like my photography mentor. He taught me everything I know about photography. I really do appreciate it. He's out in New York right now watching this right now. So, oh, yeah? It's, yeah, it's just been crazy just getting, like, all the response lately. I know, shout out to Jocelyn Rays. She better be watching this right now in, in New Jersey. <laughs> so I have, like, a lot of people from, like, New York, New Jersey, who I actually just follow me, like, and I never met them in person. So just being able to see, like, I'm just like, hey, I know you guys are going to be out partying, but if y'all can check this out, and they say, yeah, definitely I will. So just it's just being able to great to see a response. Shout out to all y'all. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, man. So uh, what and who would you consider your dream model and uh, why? Uh -uh. Uh, um, definitely one, a model I would say is Nazim. Like, I don't know if y'all heard of her before, but she's like, Basically known as Miguel's girlfriend, but I just love her look. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you know who it is. But yeah, nah, I love her look. Like her, just her style is just unique. Also, and just like the, her eyes, like that's what really stands out for me. Also, so and I remember just thinking, like, man, that would definitely be someone I would work with for sure. Like that I can think of off the top right there. And also another one would be this girl named Destiny Owawa. She's on Instagram. She's been getting, like, out there a lot. I told her that I was going to work with her, and I just never had the time to. And I'm just, it's just amazing being able to see where she's getting at right now because she's been getting with, like, a lot of, like, really great photographers. So let me ask you this right here, man. Yeah. I'm working with all these models, man. I'm sure you, like, you, like, you... You got a little slim that's pressing up on you, or you, you with somebody? I mean, yeah. I mean, just like I was saying earlier, though, like, I got somebody who I'm talking to, and, you know, it's what it, what it is right now. Like, she knows before. She get jealous, though, man. Like, I, I, this is serious. No, no, I really did. I actually really did talk to her about it one day, like, a few weeks ago, and I was like, honestly, be real with me. Do you honestly get intimidated by what I do? And she said, a little bit. And I'm like, you can't. I mean, just be be real with me because this is what I do. This is what I've been doing before I met you. This is bef and this is probably what I'm gonna keep doing. So if it does make you feel uncomfortable, I mean, it's okay. We can just leave it at that. I know if I had my slam taking pictures of niggas, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I might have a problem with that, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, so I can, I mean, you, you can, you, you got a job, like, and see where she coming from, though. Man. Yeah, no, I do. Like, a little bit. But she got no, I do. I do. I, I mean, I, and I understand, because it's like, because it's from my, my perspective, because I probably would have been the same way. So I just let her know, like, look, this is what I do. This is what I've been doing. And I'm not that type of person. If you want to come in and, into our shoes, I'll let you come in. For her. And I actually told her that, and she was just like, okay, that's fine. I gotta say, man, congratulations, man. You picked the beautiful field, man. You get the best you. beautiful ladies all day and get paid for it. <laughs> Travel. Long. Travel. Yeah, man. I think I'm in the wrong field, man. I don't know, man. I might gotta check this camera shit out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. So, how's this images focus on compositions, tone, and texture within the, in the, within the photograph? Please elaborate on that subject, how you feel that tone and texture uh, in, the, in the photograph instead of just separating from, like, a regular picture. Um, a lot of what I do is, like, one thing that I started doing more often, like, you'll probably see, like, in a few of the images that pop up, is that I usually shoot a lot of models on, like, a darker background or a black background, and I always have them, like, wear, like, lighter tones, just like that one. Okay. And it's this little That's trick. A nice ass picture right yes, there. Thank you. I can't yeah. pick which one of my favorites. You said. Hey, you tight, man. Yeah. I gotta get it to you. Hey, appreciate it, man. <laughs> but yeah, like that, even particular, like, I always try to do this thing, this trick called chaoscuro, which is the study of light and dark, so that that model stands out in the image, but that 
but you and you always focus on certain things. Like if her arm is like really light and the background is just like really, really dark, that's what you focus on. And that's what I try to do because I'm thinking about I'm like, man, no other photographers in the area is doing that consecutively like me. So if you don't see my logo on there, you'll know that that's a Travis House image. I got something for you. Yeah. Now, this is off topic right here, but it right. got something to deal with the camera. Like, um, the new iPhone 6 Plus, okay. which is my favorite brand, Apple. I don't want, I want to use no other brand, but yeah. they come out with a new phone. Right. You know? So if somebody got like a little XSI, don't lose it. Don't, don't take away from it. Just keep building around it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man, you know, we, we always running short on time, man. We always running short on time. Yeah. But there's nothing new, though, man. Can you shoot out some booking information, social network, all that? All right. So, yeah. So, basically, like everybody's, like we were saying earlier, you can find me on www.travishouse.com. That's where I post all my new stuff. I'm supposed to upload some new stuff also coming up this weekend. So, keep on the lookout for that. You can find me on Instagram at Travis House, T-R-A-V-I-S-H-O-U-Z-E. Please oh, remember yeah. to see. And on Facebook, same name. You can like me on Facebook, also Travis House Photography. Twitter, Travis House. Everything, try to keep keep it nice and simple. No problem, no problem, man. All right, y'all, man, before we get on out of here, quick reminder, quick reminder. Starting next week, each and every Saturday, 9 p.m., Bad to Bermanis Radio will be right back here. We ain't going nowhere. This is VisitLive.com. Next Saturday, 9 p.m., What's up, Chuck? Goldie Hefner, AP, Nisha, everybody. <laughs> she in the cut quiet. <laughs> she got her Jill Scott on. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, though, man. Uh, man, each and every uh, Saturday, man, start next week, man. We going to be right down here, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. To email us, man. Email us. Holler at us, man. Sponsors, artists, man. Anything, man. Holler us at BTM Radio DMV at Gmail. Holler at us ASAP, man. Link up with us. Get plugged in. Because we do it for our city. We do it for y'all, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shout out to these braces I bought into the studio today, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I bought yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. Burberry braces up in here. The pray for, for the polo. For the staff and the pray for polo. I mean, actually, this ain't no pray for this. Like, this just polo TCB, T- man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polo TCB for life, man. I brought the braces in for the for the crew today, you hear me? Mm. Oh, yeah, I got to catch up on that, though. Yeah. yeah, I had all the TCB CDs back at home, man. Oh, Uh-oh. man. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, yes. yes, I actually had, like, the CD with Pac-Man popping on it, though. Hey, yeah, I hear that, man. Yes. Man, we need to holler at you. Life. For our next single, man. Right. We, I've been original face, man. We gonna have a single. I don't know what single. We got a single called Big Booty, man. I need you to make a creative image on that one. Uh, me call a model up. <laughs> Son that you know. Somebody, you, I want somebody you know. All right. Somebody you know that got it. I'm pretty sure I could find somebody for y'all. Though. And she gotta have, she gotta have more hips than thighs, man. More right. hips, more hips than ass. Right. All right. So. Find something for me. Uh, no, we're going to work that out, though. <laughs> All right, no doubt, no doubt, man. Hey, man, thanks for tuning in, everybody, man. Thank you. Thank you. You got any special shout-outs? Uh... I pretty much shout out everybody, so I'm about to just rerun this shout out real quick. <laughs> shout out to Jason McQueen, photography mentor, as always. Shout out Jocelyn Rays, Devin White, Sakana, Shira.